Hi, I'm Casey Morrison, Systems Engineer at Texas Instruments. Today I'm going to talk to you about our latest 25 gigabit per second signal conditioning products for data center applications. TI has introduced the industry's first pin compatible portfolio of repeater and retimer products for both front port and backplane applications. As data centers move to 25 gigabit per second, challenges such as loss, jitter, and crosstalk become even more challenging. These devices are designed to support both front port and backplane applications in servers and switches inside of a data center. To demonstrate these devices, we've got two setups for you today. The first one is a 25.78 gigabit per second data source driving into a module compliance board and through a five meter passive copper cable. We're looking at the signal at the output of the cable on the scope. And as you can see, because of the loss, the eye is completely closed. We're going to take a moment to reset and show you what the eye looks like after the DS280-BR810 repeater equalizes the signal. Okay, now we have the QSFP cable inserted into our QSFP28 reference design board. The signal then goes into our DS280-BR810 repeater, which equalizes and amplifies the signal. The signal then goes into another QSFP connector and a host compliance board before going into the scope. The total loss of this system from transmitter output to the scope is over 35 dB at 12.9 gigahertz. As you can see, the DS280-BR810 repeater does a good job of equalizing the eye, producing less than 15 picoseconds of jitter and more than 150 millivolts of eye height. If your system requires additional margin to handle loss, crosstalk, or reflections, we have a pin-compatible retimer device, the DS250-DF810. I'll take a moment to set that up and show you how it can increase your margin. Okay, now we have a 25.78125 gigabit per second PRBS31 data source, which is going into our QSFP reference design, which is then driving the five meter passive copper cable, goes into a module compliance board, and goes into our DS250DF810 evaluation board. The DS250DF810 equalizes the signal with its CTLE and DFE, recovers the data, and retransmits with a clean clock. Over on this screen, we can see the internal eye-opening monitor of the DS250DF810, which is showing a nice wide-open eye with over 200 millivolts of eye-opening. In addition, we're running a bit error rate test, and you can see that the setup has been running for over two hours with no errors. After equalizing the data, the DS250DF810 recovers the clock and retransmits the data with a clean clock. On the scope, you can see the output eye diagram after 7 dB of trace, which is nice and wide open with very minimal jitter. To recap, we've presented TI's pin-compatible portfolio of 25 gig repeater and retimer products. Being pin-compatible allows you to optimize your system for power, performance, and price. And integrated features such as single power supply, no need for a low jitter reference clock and integrated AC coupling capacitors reduces your board space and allows you to save on bill of materials cost. Thanks for watching and for more information visit ti.com/sigcom.